This is the Toyota Dream Build Challenge. Join the journey to the winner's circle with these pro athletes representing the pinnacle of action sports, along with their world-class brand partners and a team of designers and fabricators who will transform four new Toyota vehicles into head-turning works of art. In the end, you decide the winner of this year's Toyota Dream Build Challenge. From the moment Joe Gibbs Racing Motocross was established in 2008, the bar was set very high. Just as JGR had done in its NASCAR incarnation, in their second season, the JGR Motocross team won the first race at the AMA Supercross Championship. They've gone on to establish themselves as a tour de force in motocross and supercross alike. Riders Justin Brayton and Josh Grant are the focal points of the team. They took the gold and silver medals respectively in X Games 16 in the highly publicized Super X competition and have made standout careers for themselves as part of a new dominant force in the sport. Marching to the beat of their own creative drummer, the JGR Motocross team takes their first step toward the finish line with the delivery of their 2014 Toyota Tundra. I'm excited about the opportunity and um, I think with a lot of the partners we have, like Infab and Thomas, some of the good guys I have back in Charlotte, and uh, the guys Thomas has out in Texas, I think it's gonna be a exciting project. JGR Motocross and the Enfab team give the new Tundra a once over, as they envision their design ideas that look great on paper, but will they work in reality? A lot of these are effort equals results. I'm gonna do everything I gotta do with my team of people, with the people that we're partnering up with, uh, to complete the build, working closely with Coy and his team, working closely with the athletes to give them what they want. With the truck in the shop, it's time to map out the plan of attack for the build they've coined, the Let's Go Moto Tundra. What would you guys want to see if, if you could build a purpose-built Tundra within our industry? What, what are we missing? I mean, obviously, I think we should start off with lifting it because, you know, we're always in the dirt going off, you know, in the desert or wherever tracks that we're riding in so we kind of need it to be you know elevated to where we can get through stuff i think try and just have all in one i mean we're out the track for you know five or six hours a day and in the sun so i think it'd be awesome to maybe get some shade over us because sometimes there's we park in the middle of nowhere maybe in the middle of the desert like josh said and so, so what you think is a truck that you guys take to the test track you know? well it needs to be a full test truck i think you know okay. that's all of our stuff that we need yeah. air compressors and you know, places for our gas cans and, you know, ramp and... Let's let's take that concept and let's, let's kind of go to a whole new level with it. Tensions are thick as the build will need to take place in two different shops over a thousand miles apart. Even though it's logistically, you know, a bi-coastal um, situation, I, I think because we're like-minded, we'll figure out ways to overcome those, those hurdles. We've done one previous build for SEMA. Uh, it's total total different build. It was a motorcycle. Um, so this is our first time doing a big vehicle. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm scared to death. I've been stressing about it the whole time. I think we have a great foundation to build off of. So to have their ideas and then to get Josh and I to say, you know, we're at the track every day. This is what I would want and this is what Josh would want. Our industry is more of a um... You know, it's motocross, so there's a lot of unique different things that we can put into this truck that you would not like see in a different truck. So I think uh, with all the stuff and the brainstorming ideas that we have, we're gonna come up with something pretty cool that not everybody's seen before. Nobody wants to lose, but the last thing I wanna be is the person that, uh, you know, is the, the comes up short in this deal. That ain't gonna happen. We're not losing to a Corolla. Watch all of the teams as they go for the win in this year's Toyota Dream Build Challenge. You decide the winner. Voting starts October 31st. Log on to toyotadreambuild.com for all the details.